Hello friends, welcome back to my channel Abhi Chemistry Tutorial. So today in this video we are going to learn about the structural elucidation of zingiberine. So before going into the video, if you have not subscribed to my channel, please take a second to subscribe to our channel Abhi Chemistry Tutorial because many people are watching my videos and uh, but they are not subscribing. So nearly 94% people are watching my videos without subscribing. Only nearly 5 point some percent people are my subscribers. So please. Uh, uh, support me so only then we can grow together so you know that I am putting a lot of efforts to make every video so I am spending a lot of time on everything on making notes and making videos so you have to support me so please take a second to subscribe and press the bell button to get notifications whenever I upload a new video so now let's get started so as you can see this is the structure of zingiberine. It is a monocyclic terpenoid and it occurs in ginger oil. It is an optically active compound and its boiling point is 134 degrees Celsius. The molecular formula of zingiberine is C15H24 and the next step is we are going to find whether it is saturated or unsaturated compound. So it forms dichloride with HCl. So it adds two molecules of hydrogen chloride to form dichloride which indicates that it has two double bonds. So zingiberine has two double bonds. But at the same time molecular refraction studies reveals that zingiberine has three double bonds. So when zingiberine is treated with hydrogen it absorbs three molecules of hydrogen to form hexahydrozingiberine that is it absorbs six hydrogen atoms or three hydrogen molecules so we get the saturated parent hydrocarbon with the molecular formula c15h30 which corresponds to the general formula cnh2n so this general formula corresponds to the monocyclic compounds so zingiberine is a monocyclic terpenoid so next we are going to check whether it has conjugation so zingiberine is treated with sodium ethanol so we get dihydroxy zingiberine. So it adds two hydroxyl groups to form dihydroxy zingiberine. So these two double bonds must be conjugated and it is further confirmed by the following reactions. Zingiberine forms adduct with malic anhydride and also the lambda maximum value of zingiberine is 260 nanometer. As we know that the lambda max value of homonuclear conjugated diene is 253 nanometer and heteronuclear conjugated diene is 240 nanometer. So the value 260 nanometer is nearly close to these two values. So finally we can conclude that zingiberine also has a conjugated system. That is the two double bonds are conjugated. Zingiberine when heated with sulfur it forms cadaline. This shows that zingiberine has the carbon skeleton of cadaline and this is the carbon skeleton of cadaline. Zingiberine and bisabolone on ozonolysis gives acetone, levolic acid and succinic acid. So this shows that bisabolone and zingiberine has the same carbon skeleton structure. So this is the carbon skeleton structure of bisabolone which is similar to the carbon skeleton structure of zingiberine. Zingiberine on ozonolysis gives acetone as one of the products. So one of the double bonds in zingiberine must be present as isopropylidine group. That is this is the isopropylidine group as you can see CH3C double bond and CH3. So this shows that one of the double bonds in zingiberine is present as isopropylidine group. From all these Above said reactions, we finally write the structure of zingiberine as follows. So this is the structure of zingiberine. And finally the structure of zingiberine is confirmed by its synthesis. So for synthesis, we take two compounds, paramethoxy phenyl magnesium bromide and a ketone. This on hydrolysis, we get an intermediate compound and this on dehydration, this OH and the hydrogen from this carbon is lost and we get a double bond here and this is further subjected to birch reduction that is sodium ethanol and ammonia this adds a molecule of hydrogen to this compound and this double bond is removed and we can see single bond here so this on addition of H plus removes CH3 as CH4 and we get a ketone this ketone is further treated with Grignard reagent and this Grignard reagent 
converts a ketone to alcohol and this alcohol on treatment with anhydrous oxalic acid removes a molecule of water that is OH from this carbon and hydrogen from this carbon to form a double bond here. So this is the final structure of zingiberin. So I hope you watched the video till end. So I think you have benefited from my video. So please give a like and share to all your friends. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel Abhi Chemistry Tutorial. See you all in the next video. Thank you. Bye.